Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where last time we were like very much about and we've been like kind of saving money like crazy because we've been very much about uh, trying to catch the last insects before the end of the season. Obviously we're getting very close to that now within four days of it. Um, so we're getting to the point now where I sort of winding down the crops for the season as well. So one thing I'm thinking, like last season, I definitely felt like um, we had a lot of crops that kind of ripened and then I harvested them and then that was it. Um, so what I'm feeling like next season is that I'll do one of everything and then I'll maybe take like a crop that I think is going to be good for me. Like um, say like this month it would have been strawberries, for example, this season. Would have been strawberries. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that, and uh, I'm gonna like do a lot of those as like almost a, uh, I guess a cash crop. Yeah, that would be the word for it, wouldn't it? I'd make myself a cash crop, effectively. And I, th I think that might actually be a better way of managing the planting. And the cash crop would be something that I planted once for the season, and then it just you know, gift that kept on giving sort of thing, like the sugar cane, for example. So that's where I'm going with that. My five gold essences are done. Um, mm. Now the question with that is, five gold essences are done. Yeah, the question with that is, what am I doing with them? Am I, I'm upgrading my bug net, aren't I? Yeah, and I have caught all the bugs I want to catch for now, so having a better bug net would be great. Yeah, no, that makes absolute total sense. So, next question is, is the beach shack open today? It is. So let's go and say hello to all of my animals for the day. I might try and put something into the mill as well before I go. It looks like the kegs and mason jars are all happily bopping away, so they're, they're all good, I think. I'm just going to call them all outside. This grass is still not growing very well, but they seem all right with it. I might, I might have to do more about that next time and just have more grass starters. Um, maybe, maybe over the summer I'll fill them in a bit. I don't know. Uh, as long as they're outside, they're fed and they're happy, that, that's all I really care about. But I think the fact that they're out eating it probably is stunting its growth a little bit. Yeah, it looks like everyone wants to be milked and sheared today. Good grief. We are getting some good produce from the animals now, like really nice produce and we're getting some really nice cheese wheels and things like that from it so i think yeah we'll go and upgrade the bug net and then i'm going to i'll put on a whole load more gold kelp and then we'll start uh because then everything except the axe will be gold and the axe needs gold bars so i, I might put the axe in in a minute as well but you know no big no big fuss over that um 48 and we've got three there. Okay. Right, so we can make another five. Um, and that will be then enough to update maybe something like the seeds up to gold standard. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to make a load of gold kelp. So we're going to be doing a lot of diving around that area as well to try and grab a load of gold kelp. And then the idea is going to be that I'll use the gold kelp to upgrade all of the crops and things. And then we'll be looking at osmium level. So just slowly going through that. The other thing that I really need to do. Oh, I haven't even got the eggs today, have I? We'll get some nice cheeses today. We'll get two cheese wheels today, which is always good. Uh, let's grab the eggs. I'll grab the honey when it's done. I want to make more beehives as well. But, I've, you know, I've got a steadily steadily increasing list of things that I want to do so two large gold eggs wow we're gonna have loads of really good mayonnaise today as well well done well done my little guys yeah I haven't even gotten like the maximum amount of chickens and things but 
that's three of those. One duck mayonnaise I'll do, and then we need to do quail mayonnaise at some point. I've got a couple of quail eggs now that need to be sorted. However, maybe I'll keep the silver large quail egg for harvest festival. Let's see, what have I got for harvest festival so far? Because I am sort of slowly... Oh, I already have one and a large milk. Okay. Well, that's fine then. And then over the summer, I want to get something like an osmium, something really, really nice, I think, as well. Like, whatever the most expensive seed in Sam's shop is, I want osmium of that, basically. Um, and to do that, I think the seeds do need to up get upgraded quite a bit, so... Let's put the quail egg in the animal products chest then. Sell that and then take the onigiri to the... I'll dehydrate some stuff. And then take the onigiri over to the goddess because she, she needs onigiri apparently. Not that it's like going to be that difficult to sort of replicate if I don't hand it in, but I I still think I want to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the flour into the milling basket. That just makes so much more sense, doesn't it? So building mats. No, it's not building mats. It's sea loot, isn't it? Sea loot. Put the glass back away. The glass is... Okay, we need to make more glass, definitely. That should basically always be going. And to be honest, so should the compost, but I'm a bit lazy about that. And the problem is, by the time you've gotten around all the stuff in your farm, it's like, look at it, it's midday already. Like, when did that happen? <laughs> I want to do other things with my day as well, you know? Okay, so let's... It's just there's so many individual things to do. I've got like six individual pets. So I've got a pet, no seven actually, including Lindy. And then I've got all of these things I've got to put on at the the mason jars and the all of the dehydrators and the kegs and the cheese machines and the butter machines and the mayonnaise machines. And and then on top of that, I'm trying to make kelp essence. And then I've got glass and compost to make. It's like, yeah, actually that really does add up. And then I've got my greenhouse to check into as well. So I haven't been in there in a while. If I'm going to the goddess, I may as well check if, like, the rambutans are ready. And they are, I think. Got some bananas, some rambutans. And some plums. Why are my bananas not silver bananas? You rubbish banana tree, you. Ah, <laughs> oh, my snowdrops are done. Nice. But again, I didn't, um, that makes some nice honey, I expect, but we didn't get an osmium one again. Like I say, for that, I'm just going to wait for the winter, and by then I'll probably have osmium seeds. Hmm. I'm going to put those away in the flower chest, I suppose. And the plums are ready now. Oh, wow, okay. That chest is way over oversubscribed. Um... I'm just going to go over to the goddess right now and forget about it. So we're going to go over to the lake temple. I'm going to put the ramble towns in. I love the, I love the way that sounds on my tongue. Um, so, ramble town. So we've got cocoa, ramble town, and dragon fruit done now. So we still need the almonds and the lemons. And then the jewelry and the mango and the apple. The jewelry and the mango and the apple are saplings. So we're just waiting on the lab for that at the moment. And then the uh, lemon and the almond we're waiting for, I believe, the summer to come round. It might even be fall by the time I get to do it. It definitely won't be winter because the winter spring ones are in the shop at the moment. So it'll be either over the summer or over the fall that we'll get the lemon and the almond. Um, but these guys are all going to take, like, ages to grow as well, so... Basic cooking, we've got onigiri, so I now need to just make a smoothie, which I can easily make and I just keep forgetting to. I'll maybe bring that over with the fried egg and uh, then we also need tomato soup, which I believe I need a pot to make. 
And I'm hoping I have tomatoes for it. If I don't, then I'll have to wait till maybe summer to grow them. Which, again, is just around the corner, so that's not going to be a, an issue at all. Right, so... That's just some extra bits done at the temple, which is nice. But this is before I even start to work out what I want to do with my day. <laughs> Go and get more stone so I can make another chest for fruit. I, need, I desperately need to process it all, but it's like... I want to keep some of it. If I had some fish, I, I need to keep the wasabi because the, of the fish. You know what? I'm going to put the wasabi into the fridge. Because I'm definitely going to cook with that. I'm definitely going to use all of that. Unless someone specifically asks me for wasabi, I am going to cook with it to make um, like sashimi and things. So let's just do that. And I could put my fruit in there as well. Like the fridge is a good storage. Just need to remember I'm keeping stuff in there, though. And then I think we're good. Um, I'm going to put my insect sense into my building mats chest just because I don't need it right this minute. And then I'll put the onagiri into the food chest because uh, it made two. I only needed one, but it made two. So there we are. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Beach shack before it closes. Oh no, I didn't bring wood, I didn't bring wood, I didn't bring wood. Oh no, 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 I need to. I need to bring hardwood. Rats. Quick, 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 quick. Don't tell me it's going to want 20 hardwood. I'm hoping it'll just want 10 or something, but if it needs 20, then I'll have to come back. Went to the most far away waypoint I could possibly have gone to. Okay, they're still open. Phew! <laughs> I want to do one thing today, that's the thing. Upgrade tools. No, I only needed five hardwood for that, so that's perfect. Um, and then I might start looking at uh, osmium ones after that. But they get expensive. But I think the osmium bug net and stuff would be really, really useful. And to a certain extent, the fishing rod. Okay, so I think the next thing I want to do is something else with it. I know I'm doing a lot for the goddess altar right now. Um, but that's because that's what I want to do right now. And one thing I want to do is to go into the mines and try and find the... silver arowana i think that is my last freshwater fish and what you need to do for that one apparently is go into a cavern specifically and go and fish in there so i want to go and quickly do that so why don't we try the wind cavern that is the fire cavern because it has fire on it. I should probably go down to a level that's like um, 20 or something. Because the, these levels, these ones ending in 5, don't tend to have water. Do they? Where sometimes these ones have water. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So we can fish here. Nice. Let's see what we get back out. I think it might be better for me if I fish from this direction. Yeah, that's much better. Because how am I going to see the fish coming if, like, it's the bobber is in the wall? I'm not. It's not going to happen. I think this might be a mackerel. 
Oh, it's a pink snapper. Okay. Pink snappers and mackerels have kind of similar curved patterns to them. Obviously, every I'm not going to pick up everything all at once. I'm not going to pick up the thing I need straight away unless it's a moray eel, and then apparently I am. That was amazing. That might be another snapper, I think. Oh, hang on. This is why I'm not getting it. It's a daytime thing. Ah, I should read my notes properly. I'll do that tomorrow morning. Um, I just realised it's it's going to count as night right now, isn't it? So, yeah, again, we've got a few pink snappers that I can make some sashimi out of or I can sell. I've got two like gold ones. Oh, look, there's some bits in my insect traps. So they can also be sold, which is quite nice. I wonder if I should go to the other ones. I'm glad I walked down there then. The moral mushroom. Like I may as well try and grab things where I can. Um, if I go over to the woodlands, I think I've got one kind of over there. I've got one by the diving. Wait, I may as well pick these up, right? These are worth a few hundred each. These guys. Procopia caterpillars. They're very good. And yeah, I'm just running past other insects because I'm just like, nope. So if I go to the diving pier one. That's just to the south of one of my other insect traps, which is up in the garden path area. Sadly, I can't catch anything while I'm doing this. It's another scarite beetle. I've had a few of those, but you know, it's good to have. But then I never know, like, what the best. In fact, this is something I'm going to check. Like, what's the best? Is the museum? Yeah, the museum one would be the best for the vineyard, wouldn't it? Definitely, because you just got to go up the steps. Okay, that makes total sense. And a cricket. Lovely. I hate that. It always feels to me like I should be able to just go that way and I can't and it's like grrr. And now of course every bug in the world is out because I put my net in. Yep, yep. Always the way. And in fact let's just get these violets and these mushrooms. Because if I want mushroom logs at any point, which are quite good uh, usually, although they're apparently another thing that sometimes gets bugged but never mind. Um, I'm sure that it won't happen to me that much. But it would be nice to be able to multiply up thing. It would be nice to be able to multiply up insects, for example, though. Because some of these sell for quite large amounts. Quick it sell for 33, but these guys, I've known them to sell for like several hundred each. I've got so many of those mushrooms. So they're all going in. I'm pretty sure all of them have gone into the... Uh... I don't know about the pink snapper though. Um, I'll just check. It hasn't been donated. So I'm going to just... Yeah, I'll sell one and I'll donate the other. Because I think we've had red snappers before, but not pink ones. And I feel like I've done... I feel like I've done nothing today. I feel like I've just run around my farm, like, doing farm stuff all day. 
But we've up upgraded the bug net, so that's a cool thing, right? Wheels of cheese, mayonnaises. I've got more glass to go in. Pickle chard is good. Dragon fruit juice, strawberry juice. Strawberry juice is worth way more than dragon, dragon fruit juice. Goat cheese wheel, normal. I think that would be probably about 800. Because the like golden ones are like a thousand, are like 900 and something. So my thoughts are that we're going to make quite a lot of money. Also, like... I put the... Why do I still have five kelp essence? Because I put in my bug net to upgrade to gold, didn't I? The hardwood's certainly gone. Maybe I had ten. Maybe I had five and then I made another five. Yeah, I think that's what I did, actually. I had five on there that I picked up and then went to to upgrade everything. So that's that's fantastic. Because that means I've got the um enough essence to upgrade the no not the fishing rod actually i've got enough to upgrade the hay now haven't i because i've got eight so we can take that over to the lab tomorrow and upgrade the hay and then i'll know how much money i've got to buy animals with um like i say the upgrades are the big focus right now i made six thousand wow Made three and a half thousand just off pickled chard, various juices, and dried scavenger balls. And then I made two thousand just off like various cheese wheels and things. Seven hundred for a goat cheese wheel. Yeah, I thought it'd be around somewhere. Seven, eight hundred. And then my catching, those Crocopia caterpillars add up, don't they, when you've got lots of them. So yes, that's really good. I'm really super duper happy about that. Because, uh... That's me up to nearly 20k again, which is great. I'm definitely going to have the money for an Osmium upgrade on something very soon, I think. Right, so let's again go see the animals this morning. And I am being terrible, I've realised, at uh, harvesting my sugar cane every day. I'm not being very good at that at all. I clearly need something more colourful. <laughs> so it's like... Pop! Oh, like the strawberries, like they're bright red, you can't miss them. I'll take that golden daisy honey. Sounds like a good thing to sell to me, so I'll sell that and the artisan mayonnaise. Um, although, like, part of me is like, maybe I could take the honey to the harvest festival. It's like, do I care enough about the harvest festival? to give up that amount of money for it though that is really the question isn't it right so let's uh make some more trash into scrap and let's make some more trash into compost and let's make some more scrap into glass let's just get that going And scrap into glass, trash into compost. Okay, good, good, good. Then I think I'm actually going to want to start to make... Um, I've got five gold bars, so I absolutely could. I don't... Oh, how much hardwood do I need, though, is the question. I'll go get some more hardwood, and I think we might go to the... Go get the axe upgraded to gold. And then I want to start making osmium ore as well. So this is going nicely so far, isn't it? This is a good day. Uh, scrap away, trash away. Compost. Uh, I forget where I put compost now. 
go in the scavenger balls. Yes. So we've got 65 compost. We're getting much better at saving up the compost, which means that when it comes to making the fertilizer that I'm going to want, it's going to be a lot easier. Right. I want to just quickly go. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, animals first. Always animals first. Get more pets. One large golden egg. One large duck egg. I didn't think I was getting duck eggs today. Oh, maybe it's a duck egg day. It's, but it's duck egg day, but not a quail egg day. It's this the middle two days at the moment. And I think we'll just have a cow milk today as well. So it won't be as lucrative a day today with uh, not having so many animal products. But that's fine. Right, we'll still pet everybody. So we're still going to get a cheese wheel. Which should be a good few hundred. Oh, really? Did I just accidentally ring the bell and call them inside? I did. It's so annoying. Right, that is good times. I like it. So let's put the cheese on. And the mayonnaise on. Then I'm going to head up to the forest and get some more hardwood. Because I have a strong suspicion nine is not enough to upgrade my axe. So I need to be coming up here and doing this more often. But I'm always tight on time at the moment, so... I'll pick things up, but I can't get you because I don't have a bug net right now. I'm hoping I'll be able to because I can now walk faster. I, I, oh no, I didn't get that, did I? I need to get level 6 bug catching for that. It's a bit annoying, but never mind. And there's a third spot up here where you sometimes find a thing. But today it's just a mango steen, which we get loads of anyway. So that is fine. Um, right, so now I want to go straight across to the woodlands. And put my axe in for its upgrade. Hopefully it doesn't want 20. Hopefully it just wants like 10 or something. Or even 5. Oh, it is only 5. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to start needing resin if I want to upgrade the watering can. Which might actually be a good thing to do. Um, I know I use a lot of sprinklers, but it might be nice to have a pack of something that I just go over with the watering can once a day just to up my farming skill. So that might be a cool thing to do. Uh, I don't know. But right now we do need this one. The gold axe upgrade. So we'll be full gold tools then. Except for the hoe and the watering can. <laughs> but we'll be full, tool, full gold tools on everything I actually use in any large capacity at all. Oh, nice, a bit of compost. Okay, so the next thing I want to do now is to go into the forest cavern in the daytime and see if I can catch this fish. This final freshwater fish that I need for the... Uh... Why do I always go to the one cavern where I know I can't catch them? So yeah, I think we were catching pink snappers because it was the wrong time of day. So now we're at the right time of day. I'm hoping we might have a bit more luck. It's still not the most... Uh, it's still probably going to take a few catches. But I was actually doing... I, I, I couldn't have got it the last time I was fishing because it was the wrong time of day. And I was like, why am I not picking it up? That 
one would have been impossible with a basic fishing rod. It's a polka dot batfish. Well, that's certainly new. <laughs> it's not a silver arowana, but it's certainly new. It's so much faster to catch them with these good uh, rods. Oh, apparently polka dot batfish are the thing in this cavern today. I might change caverns if that's the case and go to like earth or something. Not that I have that much time, sadly. Oh, I'm so glad I got some trash. Good, good job. Okay, this one has a different pattern to anything I've caught so far. Uh, oh, it's a pink snapper. So no, it's not a different pattern to anything I've caught so far. It's the pink snapper pattern. I knew it wasn't a batfish though. <laughs> this might be a snapper again. It's going around in circles. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Okay. Now there's just no fish at all. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, fishy dude. Please be an arowana, dude. Because I've only got a couple of hours to catch you now. Right, that's it. I'm changing. I'm changing the shaft. I'm going to go in the water shaft. Let's see if the domain of gong is, is easier. Just got to keep trying. Um, basically, in the winter, you can find it in the... Um... And I don't actually know whether it, when it's in the mines, whether it is only in the day, but uh, in the winter you can find it. Oh, is it? Mine. Oh, yeah. Winter day. But I don't see where it's supposed to be. Ah. Why did I jump in? I didn't need, need to do that. Oh, uh, oh, but there is water here. Okay, well, I'll go and fish here then. Just to get rid of you first, because uh, I don't want you messing up my stuff. Go on, drop me a bat wing. Yeah, curse fragment. Darn it. I'll have a go though, but it, again, usually what happens is when we fish in these areas, we get new things. Or the different, fishing in different areas gives us new things, so it's things that we're not going to have to try and find later. That looks a different sized fish at least. Bit of a struggly catch as well, so it might be something a bit rare. It's a cobia. Okay. This might be another cobia, though. Uh, got a similar look to it. I oh, know it's going to be trash, isn't it? Hmm. Why don't we go down here? Is it? Uh, yeah, there's a bit where I can sort of fish a little bit deeper. Kind of cool fishing in the mines, isn't it? I like it. What is this guy? Is this another pink snapper? 
freshwater eel. Okay. Well, that's definitely something that's a bit new and interesting. I found a couple of new and interesting things in here. Not what I was looking for, but still interesting things. I pull them in on the off chance it might be a a fly a, a, a coffer instead of a flyer or trash, but most of the time it seems to be a flyer or trash. Another freshwater eel. I'm just not getting it, am I? Hmm. Is it maybe just in the winter that you can catch it in the mines then? Uh, why do I do this to myself? I... I go and I make these notes and I'm like, oh, this is going to be so good. I'm going to know exactly what I'm doing. And then it's like, no, I don't. Because I'm like, I've still got questions. <laughs> Morning or afternoon? Only, yeah, you can only find them in the winter, so why am I going to try and find them now? That's so annoying. Yeah, so, and also winter for the Asian sheep head, and then also um, winter for the yellowfish tuna. So, like, pretty much all of the fish that we need now are winter fish. We're in the spring. That sucks. Uh, we can get a gator gar I probably did realize this however while we're here why don't we get some silver silver ore so that I'm not coming away with nothing but the other thing is because I did that we ended up with freshwater eels and we ended up with those polka dot thingies um, so I won't have to get them in the future if I'm looking to fill out the museum so it's not all bad and I did do most of the things I wanted to do today. Like, I, I tend to do all of my farming bits. But yeah, I think the only thing that I can do now, um, unless it rains, in terms of, like, catching and stuff for the altar, the only thing I can do now, unless it rains, is to try and catch the yucca moth down at the beach. But I'm need, going to need my um, bug net back for that, and I've got another two days before I can do that either. So, yeah. Where that mayonnaise can be taken. Oh, inventory full. It keeps telling me inventory full, inventory full, and I just my my eyes don't go to there all the time for some reason. I'll sell the you know what? I wanna look and make sure nothing of this is an offering. I I'm pretty sure not. But, like, that's four new fish that haven't been donated. No, five, because we haven't donated the pink snapper either. But I think I've got a pink snapper in the box to go. But it's, that's four brand new fish that I've never had before. To go into the museum. So we'd had a great day for the museum. Rubbish day for finding the thing for the altar that I was trying to find. But a fantastic day for fish in the museum. I've got a grouper, a koi... Pink snapper, freshwater eel, cobia, puffer fish, and a polka dot batfish all to go in. The ghost mantis has apparently been donated now. And we've also got the tilapia and the stone crab. Wow. I'll go sell that ghost mantis then. Seems as has been donated now. I'll sell the poster. The rest can all go away. And I've got a little bit of silver ore at the same time while I was down there. We've got a bit of monster loot. Don't know why I even keep the monster loot. I'm pretty sure that that's meant to be sold, but... 
and then scavengeables, ginseng, stuff like that. And we've got gold bars. Do I, am I gonna need gold bars for anything else now? Nothing, I don't think I'm gonna need it for any other upgrades unless I wanna go for the watering can and stuff. I might want to. Right. Lovely stuff. I don't think I have time really now to go <laughs> and do much else. Uh, the fishing kind of took over the day a bit. So I think what I'll do is I'll sell these cheese wheels and things. Uh, I'll put the glass away. No, I'm not going to put the glass away. I'm going to make more gold kelp essence. Because if I can make another five, then that's going to be enough for... Uh, which I can't do right now. Okay. I can make one though. So tomorrow will be maybe a, a run around the gold kelp layer and grab a load of gold kelp. I think that'd be a good one because we've worked out that the fish we don't need anymore. We don't need to be chasing around after fish. We don't really need to be chasing around after insects because we don't have a bug net. So I think that's about all we can do is go gold kelp diving, which would be really cool. Um, I've got 9,000 left. I don't know how much we're going to make in... I, I don't think we're going to make a good amount today. No. So we're up to 11,000. I'm wondering... If we want to go and get... see, Let's go and see how much uh, goats and pea hens and things are. So, there's other animals. Oh no, it's closed. I always have these grand ideas, don't I? And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the check on these animals and stuff. And I'm like, no, you can't do that until you've done all, all your bits in the morning. That hasn't quite finished its job, so I'm hoping it's not stuck. I'm going to be worried about it being stuck forever, forever more now, aren't I? So I'll grab the eggs, I'll find something to put into the mason jars. I know that the mason jars generally don't um, give you as much back as juicing, so I definitely think fruits should go into the kegs, but like generally there's things that can be pickled, like cucumbers and stuff like that. Wow, Rue's already up to 10 hearts, that's amazing. Yes, I'm seeing where all the grass is going now. I need to go to... The, um, they're just eating it all, basically. I need to go to Sam's. And I need to... Pick up more grass starters because they are over... They're basically over... Um, oh, I'm here. Wrong button. They're eating the grass faster because there's so many animals than uh, it can grow itself. So what I need to do is give it more of a chance than it's having at the moment. What's the time? 8.40. Yeah, that's fine. So probably the... I think the town one is closest to Sam's. look at the calendar so we had the tree planting festival so we've got no more for the rest of the month or whatever pablo has a birthday tomorrow so i could take him something if i want to but i'm still not that worried about that he's he's somehow gotten to four hearts without me giving him any presents so we'll, we'll just carry on like that shall we <laughs> right so let's shop just get a load of grass starters they're only like 10 each or something. 
So let's get like 50 of them or something. Forty. That should do. So that's four hundred spent on grass. <coughs> Excuse me. I swear I'm coming down with something. Now then, back to the farm and oh yeah, errand. There's an errand on here. So a potato for Suki. I think I can do that. It's an urgent request, so we need to do it today. Yeah, let's go straight back to the farm. I was like kind of considering going into socket and pan and getting more cooking things, but I'm thinking the, the animals are going to be more important than that. So I'm just going to go and see about that. I can probably get... A pea fowl is 20,000 and a pig is 12,000? We actually don't have enough money. Wow. And I can have four of them apparently. I think it's limited. Well, I'll, get, I'll have that soon though. We could get a horse soon as well. That, that's something I'm not that, so, that worried about though. I'm doing okay with my fast travel points, I feel. So yeah, I was uh, like a, hoping I'd get something there, but no. Ooh, it's not it's not enough money. And in that case, I'm gonna go and blow all of my, I'm gonna go blow all of my money in socket and pan, I've decided. <laughs> and then we'll save back up for another animal. Oof. No one wants me to spend my money. No one wants my money. No. Right then, so what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't have enough money, but I also have too much money and there's also shops that are not open today. Let's go and get some more gold kelp because we don't have enough at the moment. We're gonna need more as we go along with things. So I think that's gonna be a good thing to do. So strawberry juice can get sold. The Nothing else can get sold. All right, so the goat milk can go in for some cheese. The large cow milk can go in for some cheese. Egg can go in for mayonnaise and I'll make a loom. What? Yes, I can make a loom, can't I, apparently. That was a thing I picked up recently. Uh, if I have four gold bars, okay, well we can make two more gold bars probably. I don't know, is the osmium still going? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait for it to finish. I've got four osmium bars now, which is nice. That will be needed very soon. But yeah, if we could get some more gold bars, I can make a loom and then, so I'm just gonna put the wool into the animal products chest for now. And uh, we're gonna start processing the wool. So it will be even more money, which will be amazing. I'll be able to sell some, I don't know, linen or something. It will be great. Everything here is still kind of in the middle of growing, so that's fine. I, I eventually want it to be so that I just come in, harvest all the trees every like four or five days or something, and then and then bounce. <laughs> Put that scrap straight in there, and then I'm gonna just like offload things into my inventory a bit, and then I'm gonna head down to Get some gold kelp, I think. Oh, I'm gonna put the grass starters in as well. Um, for now, I'm gonna put the gold back because I can't use it right now. But I'm feeling a lot better about how much compost I've got. That's brilliant. 
But yeah, they're just eating all the grass. It's just not getting a chance to propagate at all. So let's just help it out a bit. Right, so I don't think there's any way they can eat that enough for it to not be um, growing fast enough out. I think, anyway. Because I'll probably eat, like, a piece each per day. But I'm hoping that having put down 40 or 50... Um, so they'll, I might have to do that once a year. Spend four or 500 on just really propping that up. Because it really... It's gotten to the end of spring and it really hasn't continued very well. Right. Got sugar canes to go there. Oh, I'll just take them straight over to the mill actually because I'm being really bad at not milling anything. So we could at least have some sugar going on. And then I'll sort of I'll catch up on it probably once the uh once we're not getting anything that can be milled. So I think it's amaranth and I think we can mill the barley. I think we can mill the wheat. We can't really mill the cocoa beans, but I'm still kind of, I put them there because I don't know what to do with them at the moment, actually. I have no idea. <laughs> right then, let's get under the sea for now then. Now I'm gonna go to the gold kelp level. And we'll get gold kelp, and then the next time I go down after that, we'll be pushing forward with the osmium level. I'm finding diving for gold kelp not as difficult for some reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I spent all that time... Maybe it had a chance to grow while I was spending all that time getting uh, insects. I'm running around after tiger beetles. Sadly, I won't be able to grab any undersea dudes today because uh, my bug net is still being upgraded. It's one of those slightly painful things about the, the upgrade, but I'm always glad when I do. When I get it back, I'm like, yes, it's so much better. So, And it's only potentially one more upgrade to go. So I'm all right with that. The other thing is I've already got enough um, gold kelp essence for the next upgrade I need from the lab as well, so I've got time. But I feel like maybe the gold and osmium levels are a bit bigger than the bronze and silver ones as well, a little bit. Which makes it a bit easier to... But I'm a bit worried because we haven't had a rainy day the whole season. Like, we've had no rainy days at all. It's been terrible. It's been a really bad um, season for it, to be fair. I don't know if we had more at the beginning of the season. But I'm not going to be able to get the gate agar because we've not had the right weather conditions for it. So that catch altar is definitely going to be like sneaking its way into year three which doesn't amuse me I, I you know i really want to sort of try and get a lot of stuff done and the moment is very much farm work i'm working on and then it's going to very much start to then change over to be social work it working on social things <laughs> I'm still feeling a bit snippy from that sneeze early on, that giant sneeze I did. <laughs> I've just been walking out in the rain, I don't know, maybe that's why. But 
But it's, it is kind of good to collect to, to collect the scrap as well in a way because uh, I am actually using it. We are kind of eventually making it into glass, actually. Hey, dude, can you tell me how to collect sharks? I need sharks for the museum. A while since I've had a reason to do a spin to win, but this uh, little patch is definitely one of them. How much gold kelp did we get? 45. If I could get 50, that would be handy because that's another 5 or 60 because uh, I think we've got 5 and we also have 8. And now we need another 6 and then another 7. Because it goes five, six, seven, eight uh, to upgrade the uh, the goods. Oh, here's another one. That would have been a really good value lobster. That's a bit painful to see that one walk by. <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. But yeah, I think I'm at the point now where the animals are so expensive that, that going to get things in socket and pan might be better for me. But then I don't cook that often either. It's like a little bit of a... I'm not really sure what to do thing, isn't it? Oh my goodness, there's another really cool lobster there that's probably like worth loads of money. Ah, Lobsters are worth good, good money. They're sad. <laughs> Whole big line of salt over there, look. Okay, my inventory is full. Right, so maybe now would be the time to swim for the... Yeah. Swim for the exit. We had a nice little time down here. We got... 74 kelp, so that'll be another seven essences, which is wonderful. I'm very happy with that. And I think if we go down to the osmium layer and then we'll go and get the rest, I think. Now then, let's go straight to the dehydrators, I think, and put all the bits on there. So that'll make a nice little thing to sell tomorrow. I've got quite a lot of seaweed. I could make some um, scuba snacks out of that, couldn't I? And I've also managed to pick up a whole bunch more marble coffers. A whole bunch more salt. A whole bunch more building materials. And that's it then. Nice. Okay, so I've got time to quickly grab all the bits and bobs off of my... Various machines, I think. And I've actually got time to put in um, some juices and things. So I would say let's put in some more strawberry juices. And then I'll start working on tea and pumpkin juice after that as well. Let's put some soybeans into the mason jars. And maybe some radishes as well. We'll do some pickled radish. I would say this game is definitely up there with things like... Oh, why is a razor clam in there? That's, that shouldn't be in there. That thing is not like the others. We could do some peas as well, actually. Although I should see if I can make flour out of peas, actually. It's the sort of thing I might be able to do. But we'll do pickled peas for now. Where did my radishes go? And then some pickled radishes. Just trying to keep things all full up. As much as I can. 
That razor clam needs to go into the dehydrator because for some reason that got put where it shouldn't have. Uh, oh, and now I can put my gold on as well. Very nice. And um, once I've got a little bit of gold going, I can make myself a loom. And we can start processing the wool into something a bit nicer, which will be really good. Right, sell my cheese wheel and my goat's cheese. So that'll be like 800 on its own. These will be, yeah, I'll make about 1200, 1500 maybe. Uh, it'll probably be under 2000 today. However, that might be enough to get me a pig. Hmm. Hmm, maybe we could get a pig and get truffles. That might be really nice. A pig and a loon. And then we can work on the pea peacocks uh, later. Okay, I can definitely make a loom now. Hurrah. That looks super fancy. Turns wool into cloth. Okay. So I know that this wool is worth, let's see, uh, if I know how much it's worth, 428. It's going to take a while, but that's fine. All my lovely scavenger balls are done. Those are going to take a bit longer. My glass is done as well. The dehydrate is super fast. Should try and check my insect traps as well today. Missed one. Okay, hey, lovely. We've got plenty of glass now as well, which is really nice. Um, so we've got nine gold kelp essence. Uh, I have got choices to make now with 12,000. I think I can get a pig. So this is what I should have done at the start of the year. I should have had way more grass starters. I think I had 10. And 10 just isn't enough when they're eating it. Why don't you like going outside? Do you just like the heater better? Are you a bit cold? I have a cat like that. She doesn't want to go outside. She's like, no, I went outside for me. Oh, did I shame you into coming outside now? Sorry. And another large milk, another cheese wheel for us today. Perfect. A little bit of daisy honey. How much did daisy honey go for? Well, I'll have to see now because it will actually give me a price. 180. That's not too bad, is it? Just for like one daisy. That definitely makes it a lot more um, marketable at that point. So let's go and make some mayonnaises and cheese wheels. Let me see if I've got any um, extras in the in here. I've got a quail egg and chicken eggs and another quail egg. So that would make me a bit of money, honestly. That would make me quite a bit of money. Let's go and see what's going on in the greenhouse today. Okay, yeah, we've got some stuff in here today. Nice. I'm actually going to sell some cocoa beans on the off chance that I might be given something or when when selling. That sometimes happens. Because I have no way to process it at the moment. I 
keep forgetting to have a look and see what what I can do with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see how much it sells for. I got three today. My rambutan and dragon fruit though, I want to make into juice eventually. So I'm gonna just put those into the chest here for juicing. Nice stuff, and I think. Is my bug net going to be ready today? Now that is the question, isn't it? And I think it might be able to, but actually I'm going to firstly go to see if I can buy a pig. I can't because it's closed on Saturday. Okay, well. <laughs> Doesn't want me to buy this pig, does it? I know I've got enough for it. I'm going to save the money for it and I'm going to buy the pig. Then we're going to save up money for, maybe we'll save up money for a peacock at that point. No. No, we're not going to do any of that. We're going to save money up for seeds. Everything's going to die after tomorrow. So I'm going to need a whole new set of seeds. And I'm going to be making whatever my cash crop is going to be tomorrow. Uh, yeah. To next episode, you know, you know what I mean. Next episode, we're going to be doing that. So, if I spend all my money on a pig, I'm not going to have any money left for seeds, and that was that's going to leave me poor. Basically, that's going to be terrible timing. So that's not what's going to happen. Okay, uh, everything is doing a thing, which is nice, which is what I like to see. That's all going nicely. We've the, the animals are all outside. Have I said hello to Lindy today? I said hello to you. Lindy looks happy today. That's fantastic. Apparently the pets are kind of a, little, a bit of a placeholder at the moment. Mmm. You know what I haven't done as well? I've cleared out this whole area for like trees and stuff and I haven't gotten any trees. So that's definitely something I want to start going now. Uh, so let's head over to Sam's. I spend a little bit of money on trees. I've got a lot of things I need to spend money on and I, it's understandable. I'm like, I want a pig. I want a kitchen thing. I want seeds. I want trees. I want everything. Particularly apple, mango, and durian. If I have nothing else, I want those. And, and I can see what the... Uh, yeah, they're up to silver as well, so that's worked well. I don't know if they get more expensive when they go up in quality. I hope they don't. So we needed the Jorian. Oh, this is going to be ruinous. This is going to be absolutely ruinous. Right, the Jorian bears fruit in the spring. Oh, I shouldn't have bought that. I should have bought one that does in the fall or the summer. Ugh. But anyway, we need the jewelry in eventually. Uh, we need mango and we need apple. Apple would be the one. Because I bet that bears fruit in the fall. So I will buy the apple and the jewelry in. The Jorian's going to take an entire year to fruit. I'm seeing a lot of altar things getting done, getting finished, in uh, spring of year three. <laughs> a lot of stuff. But that's fine, because I don't think it's going to be that many episodes to, to get to there. Maybe another... You tiger beetle. You're so annoying. They are really annoying. But yeah, I'm going to need to work on making some money today, aren't I now? Because <laughs> that was a 4,000 for that jewelry entry was an expensive mistake. Because I was like, well, it's not going to even fruit for that long. So. It needs a certain amount of squares around it. Can I just go straight into the ground then? Looks like it. And to be honest, I can just put them down because just put them down wherever and let them grow because I can always move them with the architect table at this point and make them into a pretty orchard later. 
It looks to me like that's all you need to do. I don't think you even need to water them or anything, do you? They just go straight into the ground like these trees and they just grow. Okay, I can I can cope with that. It looks like my cucumbers are done. Another one that I'm not seeing because they're like very, very green. <laughs> they're super green. Right, I'm going to head down. Um, well, I'll check it's open first. Because nothing's ever open when I want it to be. Uh, yeah, we'll head down to the beach shack. I think my bug net should be ready. And then I'm going to like head around all of the various places in town and just see if anything, anything's going on. Retrieve my upgraded tools, my gold bug net. Yay. And I'm probably going to be happy with that at that level for a little while now. Um. Hey, Oliver. Wind feels nice. But don't open your mouth so wide. Sand might get in it. Yeah, that's not, that's not so nice, is it? I hate that the beach is so disgusting. For any butterflies that might be here. Oh, I found an Alice butterfly. Can you smell the salt? Hmm? There's a snail down there, but I don't, I don't need you. Well, actually, no. We catch everything we can because A, it's money, and B, it's catching skill points. So, I'm going to go. And check my traps. I wonder if you're the one that I can catch. A harpalus beetle. That's very new. Also known as ground beetle. It feasts on grass. Scott, you were right by it and you didn't catch it either. Coming from the boat down here. We've never really like checked out Zara's boat much, have we? Let's go and have a look. Not close enough to Zara to enter this room. It's a very shiny teapot. I love her boat, it's beautiful. Someone else's house. I love the cat with the little paw. <laughs> I feel like I need to sneeze again. It's terrible. Oh, nice. A wasabi. Found in a bin. Lovely. Furniture store is closed. And Zara. I've been collecting clues about this island's secrets, though I put my mission off for the winter and decided to enjoy the weather instead. I can't wait to get going again. Now it's spring, I'll continue my adventure. Hey, Emma. Ah, I should have packed an extra lunch. I ate mine too early and my stomach's growling again. Just gonna see about these insect traps. The amount of tiger beetles that have run away from me. I am so pleased that I got caught one in a trap because... I doubt I'm catching one again. What, Whatever that was. I'm not catching that, apparently. A little rummage through the trash. And we just found trash. 
What? We found trash in the trash? Oh no. I'm gonna go to the hot springs. I haven't been in here since it. Uh... Oh, this is the observatory, not the hot springs. I haven't been in the in the hot springs since uh, we opened things up. A brown trout. I've had more fish in the hot springs trash bin. Oh, sorry, the observatory trash bin than anywhere else. So, did it get any better, or...? It doesn't look like it. I just thought I'd, like, take a look around and make sure... Because that one said, make the hot springs better, and, and nothing else. It was a bit confusing, a bit cryptic, honestly. Ask me why I'm just running around. I just, I just am. Okay, it's just the way it is apparently today. Oh, that is extremely irritating. Let's see if there's anything around here. Occasionally catch a butterfly or something. No, and I can't grab the hardwood at the moment because I don't have an axe on me. I think I'll pick that one up tomorrow. It's all about not having tools right now, isn't it? Because <laughs> it's all about upgrading the tools. I seem to always have something that I can spend my money on at the moment, don't I? Um, oh, my cloth is done. I'm going to be really interested in how much that sells for. But uh, there's beetles and snails and crickets I can sell. I don't know about the brown trout. Mm, you're donated. Nice. Okay, so brown trout fly. The harpless beetle, I'm almost 100% certain. I'm just going to sell the scavenger balls today as well. I'm almost 100% certain that that is something... I need to donate. So let's pop that into the donation chest. I could do with taking all these critters down there, to be honest, because uh, it's going to be probably needed soon enough. Nice big wheel of cheese there. Loads of pickles. I need as much money in here as I can get because we're going to need to get seeds very soon and I spent all my money on upgrades and <laughs> what else did I spend my money on spent a lot of it on upgrades I didn't even go in socket and pan did I I spent it on something else Oh, fruit trees. That's the one. Fruit trees. So we've got... I, I'd better not have a meteor come and squish these now. I feel so sad. Or I'll accidentally axe them or something. Oh, I would cry. But we're just letting those um, grow at the moment. And then once they're grown, I'm going to sort of probably start to pave off little sections and things like that and try and make the farm look a bit nicer. I feel like it already looks nice kind of in this area that I've sort of fenced off and everything and I and I put the path down here, but I feel like the path needs extending, um, which might be a problem because at the moment my stone is actually quite low. I don't have a lot of it. So I'm thinking what I might want to actually do to get stone is to take some of these explosives down the mine and have some fun with them <laughs> and blow up a load of stone. That might be a really good idea actually. Okay, it's already 11 o'clock. How did that happen? I don't even know. 
And it's already been an hour and 20 minutes. And I feel like all I've been doing is running back and forward the whole episode. I don't feel like I made any big progress, but I feel like having the tools up to gold has made a big difference. And uh, next episode, we will get new animals and it will be very exciting. So I'll have to I'll have to find something to say about this episode. I don't know what I'm going to say about it, but it was important work we did, I think. Getting everything upgraded, getting money together, getting um, ingredients for gold kelp essence, getting uh, everything now up to silver level. And we're starting to look at getting gold level um, seeds, for example. So I'm going to go to bed now. It would have been so nice to get gold level seeds before the beginning of summer. But I think I'll just have to be happy with silver. And maybe I can make a push to get osmium before fall. But we'll just have to see. I've got a lot of fertilizer I can make though. So that might help quite considerably um, in whatever my cash crop is going to be. So there we are. Wasn't expecting that. Wow. Cocoa beans sell for 100 each. 100 each. Okay. You know that large wool cloth? You know I said it was like 400, it doubled. It doubled its value. All of my wool products are now double in value because I got the loom. Wow. Well, I can cope with that. So now I've not got nine grand that I can spend on seed. Perfect. <laughs> I'll try and I'll try and keep that. And um, probably very early into the summer, we will get our animals. Because I've spent all the money on all the upgrading and, and all that sort of thing at the moment. Um, I'm putting lots and lots of money into it. But I'm hoping that that's going to mean I'll get lots of money back out. So there we are. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then... Oh! Oh, a meteor landed. Nice. Uh, so if you did then, please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.